Hey, 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 everybody. Michelle is here. A little late in the day when I usually uh, check, come on through, you know what I mean? Uh, today is, um, I think it's Monday. What? Oh, no, <laughs> Monday. <laughs> it's Wednesday, uh, December the 6th, 2023. I, it's, I'm just telling you, it's hard for me to keep up with days, especially since I retired. Oh, my goodness. I, I just don't keep up with it. To me, every day is, you know, whatever. You Whatever you make it. Every day is whatever you make it. And, you know, at some point, um, it's not going to matter, really. You know, what's going to matter is what you do with the time you have. What you do with the days you have. And that's what's so important. Uh, you know, in what I'm doing and what others are doing. We really, really, really need to... Um, be prepared for certain um, for certain events to happen. Now, what does that all mean? You know, it's not about panic, making people panic. Uh, it's just being prepared. And the main thing you need to be prepared is in your consciousness. So that you or in your thoughts, which relate to your consciousness, so that you are um, as sound, mentally sound as possible. Uh because, uh, uh, you know, just like with everything that's, that ha usually happens in someone's life, they, uh, they, will, they will always say that I, was, I just wasn't prepared for that. I wasn't expecting that. Blah, you know, it just goes on and on and on and on. And even though the writing has been on the wall, uh, it's just so hard for us to stay focused and grounded in reality because we have ourselves so entangled in so many so many responsibilities that usually are not necessarily uh, unnecessary because, you know, you do have to take care of yourself. You have to provide for yourself. And if you have a family, you have to do such, do as such. So, and so it usually catches people by surprise when things start happening and things will start happening. I plan to take a trip this weekend, you know, because I, I wanted to do some do some more since I'm settled I wanted to do some more kind of traveling around and just you know just getting a feel for the environment getting a feel or, or sensing receiving you know whatever I sense and receive and see how I how it feels to me and so that I can stay in touch and stay grounded and be um be as aware as possible and that's what it means also about being conscious it's about being aware like I said, knowing what's going on in your environment, what's going on around you. You do not want to necessarily be caught off guard. Got something flying around in here. You don't necessarily want to be caught off guard when it comes to certain events that are expected to happen. Uh, like, to, you know, like what's going on in my neighborhood is, is that, you know, there's always something going on. And, you know, they always have this, either call them active shooters or they call them mass shooters. Those kind of things are are happening all the time and will eventually escalate, you know, because it's, it's, it's the cause and effect. I told you, we're living in the effects of complacency and ignoring warning signs for decades, for decades, for decades, in millennia, millennia, millennia. Okay, or we can go back and say millions of years, millions of years. It's all real. Is is the timing is rel is uh is irrelevant right now because it's considered the past, and you know what they say about the past. You can't change the past, and you cannot. All you can do is live it, live with the results and the consequences, and that's where we're at. That is where we're at. So, I'm working on something. Uh, like I said, in a non-profit capacity to do my share to help, okay? And I think all of us ought to do, If you know, if you're not going to, if you're not going to help the situation, I mean, why not just step step aside? Uh, that part, it, it doesn't make any sense to me, uh, but there's a cause and effect for all of that. Why, why people are, are acting irrational and unreasonable and do not know how to make decisions in their life about how they are to conduct themselves. A lot of people just, 
there's just a lot of damage there. And that's consciousness damage, by the way. Something that had, had been lingering and lingering and lingering for decades upon decades. And a lot of people had experienced a lot of uh, so-called damage uh, uh, in their adolescence or their puberty. Okay, and it wasn't it wasn't uh, addressed properly because what everybody's overwhelmed. The mother is overwhelmed. If a father is there, he's overwhelmed. There's financial overwhelm. You know, being overwhelmed about your finances. You know, now it's about housing. You know, it's it's it's, it's just a constant piling on of uh, things to be concerned about, and it's just going to get more intense and more intense over time. That's why it's so important to um, make sure you deal with unresolved issues and handle them, resolve them. You know, feel, feel, I mean, bring some victory in your life because you resolve things and you didn't wait and wait and wait and expect somebody else to come in and save you. We have to consider, um, you know, some of the effects of what is going to happen. And it can't, we cannot be focused exclusively on materialism. It has to come from the consciousness. And so that's what I'm planning to do to help. And I'm so excited about it because I know we all, some of us want to help, but we don't know what, how to help. So sometimes we like to just throw money at people and think, okay, you solve it, you know, by throwing money at people, uh, thinking that's going to solve it. It is not. You know, it's not about the finances. It's about the consciousness. You need to you need to have the consciousness right and uh, operating properly in order to know what to do with finances or what to do with this or do, what to do with that. The climate, the destruction of the climate and such. You know, so a lot of people will, will be experiencing some tragedies, some uh, unforeseen uh, events in their life. And that's just the culmination that we're at. So I'm looking around on the um, internet to see what's happening, you know, as far as, um, as far as um, events, you know, and just reading and stuff like that. I like to do that. And then I like to also, like I said, go out in my environment. Okay, go out in my environment, in my own backyard, quote unquote, and find out and, and, and figure out what's going on. Always be as aware as possible about what's going on around me. How do I feel? Okay, what do I see? What do I hear? What do I sense and receive? That's a constant, constant habit for me that has developed and and been so fortified within me. You know, it's, it's a natural habit that I have. Now, do I miss signs? Yes. You know, because we're so massively overcrowded with people, vehicles, more specifically and especially with noise, noise pollution that interferes and causes a lot of damage to our consciousness. So even though you may, again, take in a lot of noise and, and sounds and stuff, and then you think you can block it out with headphones and, you know, I think it's extremely dangerous to be walking around with headphones on in, you know, out in the open, in the public eye you know, in the public realm, I really do. But, you know, it, to each his own, it, you know, we, you know, I have to, and I do, I allow people to, to do what they, you know, if I, you know, when I was in the first responder, of course, I had to make sure people were safe, you know, I had to, that was my job. So if somebody was, uh, you know, getting ready to walk in the middle of traffic, you know, I had to do whatever I can to just kind of stop them and save them, you know, that was my job. And more so with kids, but you know what? I got to a, it got to a point when I was working in a particular neighborhood where the kids were fine. They had that rhythm and that flow where they knew how they were. Pay, you know why? Because they were paying attention to their environment. They paid attention to where they were stepping. They paid attention to what was going on with the traffic. I mean, they were they were actually flowing with a lot of rhythm, and so I rarely had any issues with young juveniles being involved in some type of pedestrian accident. It was very rare. I most like, I, in my, in my experiences, it was always adults, you know, on bicycles, skateboards. Those were the ones that were usually in, 
and seriously, you know, in uh, serious bodily injuries, for, you know, as a pedestrian. Like there was a there was a, something out just recently about someone being hit by a train, and I thought, wow. And um, unfortunately, I think this was a young adult, you know. So things do happen. Uh, but but I'm saying when I when I was in the field and none you know it was rare that young juveniles were involved in pedestrian accidents. That's all I'm saying. In my experience, in the neighborhood I was uh, patrolling during my career in law enforcement, it was always adults on bicycles. So, but you know as the uh, environment sort of heats up, as they say. The noise is in, the noise is in, increasing, um, you know the sound, and it, it, it's disturbing to me. Even though I'm a more visual visionary type, just imagine with people that are <laughs> auditory, what they may be going through or may not be. Uh, they may have uh, been able to develop some type of uh, uh, resistance, you know, be able to tone out a lot of sounds and tones, you know. Some people are, uh, you, you know, they have those type of skills and abilities to do so. But yes, I'm just checking around the internet, the same, you know, everybody jumps on bandwagons, you know, when somebody is, um, you know, to have uh, alleged to do something. You always get people to say, well, you know, they, they, they'll come back and talk about stuff that happened five years ago, one year ago. 10 years ago, 30 years ago. And my question is, it sounds like there was a lot of um, red flags about a lot of things, but who, 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 who reported it? Did anybody? Okay, that's all, I, that's all, I'm, wor that's all I'm concerned about. Uh, the, like I said, these sounds like felt, you know, like criminal acts of behaviors and actions. And despite what you think about law enforcement, um, I think you're still obligated to report it. Okay, I, I really do. I mean, you know, like I said, I, when I was in law enforcement, you know, I was rolling in the dirt with those that are that were dirty, but not everybody is dirty in law enforcement. Okay, I was in law enforcement. I was not dirty at all. You know, I did everything I could based on policy and procedures. Okay, and knowing how to be able to uh, think Number one, <laughs> use judgment and proper reasoning and proper uh, discern, you know, proper discernment, reasoning, thinking, you know, it's all it's all within any kind of career that you, you know, decide to get into. And if it's a high profile career, more specifically, those skills ought to be there, being able to reason, you know, to make decisions without having to go run to the, you know, the sergeant or go run into the whoever right so that job that's what that's one thing I enjoyed about the job I wasn't in an office you know I'm not an office person at all but I was able to make decisions and and be reasonable and uh, you know and provide the best service I could and that's all you can do regardless of what field you're in if you have the good intentions and the good pur and you have good purposes it does matter regardless of what anyone tells you your intentions do matter okay that churns up and cultivate how you're going to think about a situation if you go out there and, and claim i don't i don't give a you know i don't give a f about these people okay that's that's your behavior and actions will will will, will um display that and you will possibly get a lot of complaints about brutality see when i used to get the complaints is because i was doing my job when others would not Okay, and I didn't have a problem getting in anyone's face and, and, and letting them know what my purpose was. You know, I had no problem with that. So, there's a lot of work to do. All I'm going to do is the best I can based on what I can develop and build. But it, one person cannot do it. All right, get over that illusion thinking you want to be the, a savior type or a messiah type or godlike that you are going to be the, the one that everybody comes listening to and running to. I mean, come on, all right? We, there's a lot of indoctrination about how we allow ourselves to be trapped in this Messiah complex where 
We think someone is supposed to just magically come out of the sky and save all of us. Okay, that's an illusion and delusion, and we're going to lose millions and millions of people because of that. Okay, I'm just making that very clear and effective. Okay, because a lot of people don't want to start doing anything until they say they get the signs of a sign from somebody. You know, from who? I mean, you know, like I said on another video, wouldn't they have been here by now if someone's supposed to save you? Okay, it's about it's going to be about saving yourself. It's going to be about surviving and rescuing yourself or your family or your pets, you know. So I just want to come on through and let you know that's what that's what's up with Michelle. I'm working, working, working. Trust me, working behind the scenes. I got plenty, plenty, plenty of content out there if anyone wants to listen to it, re-listen to it, or however they want to handle that. I got podcasts. I got videos and eventually have, you know, face-to-face -face interaction, workshops, whatever. Whatever it takes to, to make the impact that uh, I can leave for my young people, you know, to, you know, the, to understand that I did everything in my power to, to uh, leave a legacy of, of wanting to help, okay, and leaving a legacy of what's possible through hard work was possible through uh, proper cultivating and developing of your consciousness because that is the key to all of this is the, the uh, evolution of your consciousness. Nothing else matters if you're not taking that on first, you know, as a, uh, as a priority, okay? Uh, all the damage has been done, and what do I mean by that? The climate destruction. We are having climate destruction. There is no climate crisis. Okay, there was a crisis, I don't know, decades upon decades ago when we had an opportunity to step in, you know, but we've allowed it all to, to come to this end point. We're at an end point. We're at a culmination, okay? I'm going to uh, help everybody that wants my help. I'm not going to be bothering people. I'm not going to be running up on people. I'm not going to attempt to indoctrinate and, 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 you know, I'm going to make everything very simple. At the same time, I'm going to be kind and gentle because I know what is at stake here. I know it. Okay, so uh, that's all I wanted to say for today. I'm going to go in here. So, so the video production may be lighter. <laughs> like I said, there's plenty of videos out there. It may be lighter. It all depends on what happens, but I need to focus on getting... Um, uh, getting a physical, you know, uh, venture as well up and going and getting it out the door and start, you know, doing doing the things I, I need to do and I want to do. Others are going to be doing the same. But again, you are responsible as an individual to discern people properly. You are responsible for doing your research and you are responsible for trusting yourself about how you perceive people. If somebody makes you uncomfortable, okay, somebody makes you uncomfortable, get yourself out of that environment, okay? And make sure you, you know, you share your experiences with others about how you are relating to people that are claiming to be helping you, okay? Do not allow someone to corner you into believing that you need to listen to this person only, okay? Beware of those type of tactics or somebody attempting to get you in a group, you know, and, and, and claim that, you know, they're working as a group, but we don't need, but they refuse to allow other groups to come in and um, uh, monitor them. I mean, again, you're responsible for protecting yourself and doing the protection via lawyers, via consulting, advisors, but at the same time, it needs to be open to uh, and it, transparency, you know, people talk about transparency, which is nothing but a bunch of rambling because, you know, that's obviously not being done with certain people in, uh, in pyramids. They talk about transparency. You know, we just get these words and we, um, you know, we take them to heart when it's nothing but smoke and mirrors. Transparency. Let's see what it means. What is what it says and, and what people are doing. A lot of people just use final word and it's a buzzword and they keep using it and using it and using it. Let's see what it says here. 
the characteristics, characteristics of being easily, of being easy to see through. Okay. Okay. That's what it says here. Let's see what else. Let me check out another meaning real quick. So yeah, you have to, um, if you choose to, everything's free will. But it's so important to know what these words mean as well. There's a lot of language out there that has has vague meaning, has a meaning of, of that's vague, but that's intentional sometimes. Okay, that's that's sometimes that's intentional. They don't want you to necessarily understand what the word means, right? That's the whole that's the whole uh, objective, you know. They don't want you to, to, to know exactly what everything means. They like that vagueness, like the, like the Constitution. Okay, that's perfect example of it. It's you know that it, it it's like it's sometimes so vague, and at the same time it 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 doesn't offer solutions or resolutions. It just keeps things spinning and spinning and spinning. That's an intention, by the way. That's done intentionally. Okay, so in other words, um, transparency. I guess they say is. Um, you know, you want to be clear and effective. You know, you want to make it easy to understand. Is that what's happening now? In the political re in the political uh, arenas? Does anyone understand what's really going on? Okay, I, I, I don't think so. But don't feel bad about it because that's the intention that's my point so i think if you start taking things off the personal you'll be able to understand what is really going on and know exactly what you can do possibly to change it okay we need all of you okay so i'm gonna go ahead and send peace and love right now i'm hungry of course and i want to send peace and love all over the stars and moon and mountains and trust me i'll be back